Welcome back to CTV News Channel. I'm Jennifer Burke. Sir Roger Moore, who played James Bond, has died at the age of 89. Moore's representative confirmed the news today. The actor passed away in Switzerland after a short battle with cancer. He last appeared on stage in November at London's Royal Festival Hall. In addition to his work in movies and television, he was also known for his work with UNICEF. Moore's family says his funeral will be held in Monaco. Richard Krauss is our film critic here at CTV News Channel. He joins me now on FaceTime. Uh, Richard, Roger, for many people, was an icon. What can you tell us about uh, the body of work he left behind? Well, I think when most people saw him originally, it was on the small screen on television and shows like The Persuaders, The Saint, uh, Maverick, lots of things like that. It wasn't until he became James Bond, though, that he became a real superstar. He had made movies before that, uh, but the... Uh, fit of him playing 007 uh, seemed perfect for the time. And I have this theory that whichever Bond you see on the big screen for the first time, so whether you're a little older than me and maybe saw Sean Carney, well, he will always be your Bond. For me, when I was about 11 years old, it was live and let die, and it was Roger Moore. So mm. all these years later, when I think of James Bond, the first image that comes in my head is of Roger Moore. In fact, I was poking around today after I heard this news, and I went over to my bookshelf and I pulled out this book. It's the James Bond Diary, written by Roger Moore. I bought this when I was 11. <laughs> I've carried it around ever since. <laughs> And uh, it's the, the story of making Live and Let Die. Um, and it's kind of fascinating and a lot juicier than you might imagine it would be, uh, considering the time. But he was an actor who uh, once said that he thought that the, the way to success was equal parts personality, talent, and luck. So 33 and a third percent of each of those, and you would have a, a fairly good career. Then he said, you know, I began to realize later on that it was 99% luck. What happened is he was uh, tapped to play James Bond after uh, Sean Connery retired, and he wasn't able to get out of some television uh, engagements that he had, so he had to turn the role down. George Lazenby took the role, played James Bond in one film, and then never returned. By the time they were looking for James Bond again, Roger Moore was... Uh, available and ended up playing the role from 1973 uh, up until 1985, making six movies over the 12 years. Wow, some great history there, Richard. Uh, but he also, beyond being James Bond, he considered his work with UNICEF to, to really yeah. be one of his greatest achievements. Yeah, I think that the legacy he leaves behind will be equal parts James Bond and uh, equal parts the humanitarian work that he did. Uh, after James Bond, he didn't act as much. He made the odd movie here and there, but really uh, he concentrated on working for UNICEF and, and lots of other charities. And, you know, I think that it was just part of, um, you know, the, the, the legacy that he wanted to leave behind was uh, one of doing good in the world. He said, you can grow old gracefully or begrudgingly, and I've decided to do both. That's a great clip to end it on, a great quote to end it on. Richard, thank you. Thanks, Jen. Richard Krauss on The Life of Roger.